Welcome everyone, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach, Lee Corso. No weather can affect us here today. We're in the dome for our contest between the Houston Cougars and the Pittsburgh Panthers. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Panthers. We have two good teams here, and I'll be honest with you, I really don't know what to expect from this game. Pittsburgh knows all too well about playmakers as they have one of their own at the running back position. This guy's got way too much talent to be contained. Lee, I think he'll lead them to a close victory. You know me, I decided my pick a couple of days ago. I'm going with the Panthers. Houston lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Lewis fields it at the 17. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Today we've got a very good tailback going up against a pretty weak linebacking core. Do you think the offense will be able to exploit that? You betcha they will. This running back is as good as they come, and I think they'll give this kid the ball, and he'll make a statement early today. I'm with you on that one, Scooter. This team does everything possible to get this kid the ball. If he has trouble running the ball, then they'll line him up in the slot and throw it to him. He creates mismatches all over the field, and I don't think this defense is good enough to keep him quiet today. There's a play fake. Throws to the middle. It falls incomplete. Garrison was the intended target, so that'll make it third down. Third From their own 34-yard line, it's third down and 10. Single set backfield. He drops back. Looks across the middle. Broke away from one. At the point. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown. That pass was humming, and it'll be six. You gotta be kidding me. How do you do that? What composure? So the kicking team will line up for the point after. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A lot of game left. Four minutes remaining in the quarter. And our score, Pittsburgh, seven. Houston, nothing. Pittsburgh to kick this one off. Kicks it away. Number 35, has it at the five. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. The offense will take over at the 18-yard line. First and ten. Number seven with three wide receivers. He's in trouble. Number seven guns it, and he brings it down. Nice little pitch and catch with a wide out. The quarterback and receiver spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice, just working on their timing, and right there it paid off. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 34. Houston lines up in a shotgun set. Play action. Sheds that one. Falling back as he throws. The ball is tipped. Great defensive play by the cornerback. It's second down and 10 to go. Look at the throw. Let's it go. And he pulls it down. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great lead and delivered a very nice pass for the first half. He set up and put the ball right there where he had to go. Nice. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 39. 
Pittsburgh. Sets up in the eye. Lewis gets it on the inside. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. What do you have for us, Coach? I got rushing yards. 100 of them. That's and Lee Corso. We're coming to you from inside the dome here tonight for our battle between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the USC Trojans. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Trojans. The Trojans are the slight underdog in this game, but there are no doubts on their sideline that they can pull it off. Ohio State looks a little overpowering in this one. I think it's all because of their running back. He's a tremendous athlete, and Lee, I think he'll have a big game running behind those big hog mollies up front. I know everyone has been waiting. It's time for my pick. There's no way the Buckeyes lose. USC has the ball teed up and we're ready for kickoff. And this one's a short kick. George fields it at the 22. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Well, all week we've been hearing about how good this kid is at cornerback. What do you guys think about it? Hey, I tell you what I think. This kid is awesome. He's the type of kid who changes the momentum of the game in an instant from the defensive side of the ball. And you don't see that very often. You're right, Coach. He is very good. But the wide receiver on the other side of the ball is also very good. We'll see if he can keep this guy in check throughout the whole game. They line up at the 36. It's second down. Pryor lines up with five wide out. He's going left. And it's incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. That'll make it third down. From their own 36-yard line, it's third and 10. Ohio State sets up in the eye. He drops back. It is he throws, and they'll bring him down behind the line. That's going to bring up fourth down. That was a great three and out by the defense. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 17 is waiting for the snap. He gets it off. Swan fields it at the 24. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. They'll start this drive at the 24-yard line. Play fake. Throws it deep downfield. Incomplete pass. Oh, man. Dropped passes just aren't acceptable. I don't care if you're getting hit or not. Hey, he'll shake it off. No big deal. Watch. They'll go to him again, and he'll come up with the catch. You know, he probably will, but there's still no excuse for the one he just dropped. The Trojans line up with three wide. Across the middle. Oh, great catch. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. Nice little pitch and catch with a wide out. The quarterback and receiver spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice just working on their timing, and right there it paid off. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36. Ace backfield. Setting up play action. Throw short. And they couldn't hook up on that one. It was the tight end who couldn't manage to stay in bounds. They line up at the 36. It's second and 10. The Trojan come out in the ace formation. He fires a throw, and he's tackled in the open field. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Back to pass. 
throws down the middle. And down he goes at the 45. How about that pass, fellas? Well, Brad, the defense was coming with the blitz, and that opened some room for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz, you better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Pace backfield. Hands it to the back. And they make the stop at the 45-yard line. Didn't get anything. They line up at the 45. It's second and 10. Looks to pass. Number 14 throws it out there. It falls incomplete. A flag came out after the ball was thrown. Let's see what this is. First of the Nothing to pass. 15-yard penalty. Man, that was close. First down. It looked like his momentum just carried him to the quarterback. That was definitely a late hit. He could have easily got out of the way. Instead, he just ran right through him. USC comes out with two tight ends. Play fake. Slings it. Incomplete pass. The quarterback saw the blitz and let it fly, but too high. Oh, that rhymes. Second We're at play game. number nine of this current drive. The Trojans line up with a single set back to you. Johnson can't bring it in. Mm -hmm. It's going to go down as a drop, my friend. Mm -hmm. A very frustrating drop. I like the play call. I like the pass even more, but it really doesn't matter if the receiver can't bring it in. Tenth play of the drive. The Trojans come out in a bunch formation. Steps up. Throw. This one is incomplete. Fourth down, and the kicking team's on to try this 47-yard field goal. This will make it a field goal game. It's up. And it's no good. It lands short. Well, they tried for three, but they came up empty-handed. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. And they have three bunch. Play action across the middle. Batted ball. He threw that to a guy who was well covered and it almost got intercepted. Yeah, he's very lucky. That ball was only tipped. Third they line up at the 27. The it's 27 third down. The Trojans line up with a single set backfield. Broke away from one. He gets sacked on the play. Wow. He went down pretty hard. There. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. The Trojans line up with three receivers bunched. He's drilled as he throws, and they're going to have to give the... No weather can affect us here today. We're in the dome for our contest between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Pittsburgh Panthers. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Panthers. The Buckeyes expect big things from their guys today. Who do you have winning this one, Kirk? Ohio State looks a little overpowering in this one. And I think it's all because of their running back. He's a tremendous athlete. And Lee, I think he'll have a big game running behind those big hog mollies up front. I like it, Kirk. That's an excellent pick. There's no way to buck guys. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. And this one's a short kick. Lewis takes it at the 12. 
At the 40. There's a missed tackle. Not a bad return. No, not bad at all. That's great field position. And any coach will tell you, good field position throughout the course of the game is very important. Well, folks, lining up at halfback is a very, very special player. You bet, Brad. This kid has a great combination of speed and power. He'll be the focal point in this offense. If the defense can't contain him, he'll be in for a long day. Yeah, this kid is talented, but you know what, Kirk? I talked to the middle linebacker yesterday at the hotel, and he said this back wasn't going to get 50 yards against them. Those are big words, Coach. We'll have to watch to see what happens. Lewis is the single setback. And he's tackled at the 49-yard line. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Third From the 49-yard line, it's third down and six to go. The Panthers line up in an eye formation. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He put just a little too much power behind that throw to his receiver. Oh, boy, guys. I think he'd like that pass back. Yeah, Kirk, he won't miss that receiver too often. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Lewis, the lone back. They bring the quarterback down. Coach, why would you go for it there? I'm still trying to figure that one out. It doesn't make sense to me. I mean, guys, it's only the first half. There's still a lot of football to be played. That's just a poor decision. This is a great place to start the drive on the opponent's side of the 50. Ohio State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Pryor will hand it off. George gets three yards on the play. They line up at the 45. Second and seven coming up here. The Buckeyes are lining up with three receivers. They give to the tailback. Colvin looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Here's third down, four yards to go. Ball on the 42. They line up in an eye. Pryor still has it. Sheds one tackler. Zips it over the middle. That's incomplete. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wide out was left out. To the back. Breaks one. He's tackled at the six. What do you have for us, coach? I got rushing yards. 100 of them. That's what this player's done so far today. You know, coach, that's, that's not too bad, is it? You betcha. He's not done yet. Congratulations to our players of the game. These guys were playing on a very high level today. The Panthers line up with two tight ends. Tackle made at the nine. Lewis gets three yards on the carry. So that'll make it third down. Third and five situation. The Panthers line up in an eye formation, drops back to pass, lets it fly. It's intercepted. Lewis tackles him at the one-yard line. That interception puts him right back in the game. I wouldn't have made that throw, and let me tell you why. You got the lead in the fourth quarter. There's no need to take big risks right now. Play conservative. Let your defense shut them down. It's first and goal, and they need a touchdown. Ohio State lines up in a double tight set. Touchdown, Bucks! They got it. And now it's up to the offense to stay in the field and try to tie this ball game up. You won't find many finishes more exciting than this. One play to get two yards. If they put it in, we have overtime. If not, then they'll have to wait for another day. So the offense is going to go for two. Ohio State goes with the ace set here. They'll give it off here. Oh, he got tattooed on that one. Oh, man, Coach, you talk about a big-time play by the defense. That'll keep them in the lead. You got it, and now probably their only chance is going to be an onside kick. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Short kickoff. Lewis fields it at the 11. Lee, wouldn't you go for an onside kick in this situation? No doubt about it. You go for the onside, get the ball back, and try to score again. You're right. This is a no-brainer. Give your team the opportunity to score. The They'll go to work at the 30-yard line. High formation here. 
He'll give it off here. Loose football. Number 54 recovers a loose ball. The Panthers are going to take a timeout, and that was their first timeout. Second down. The Panthers line up with two tight ends. Lewis gets another carry. Brought down at the 36. Pittsburgh will have one timeout remaining. It's third and four. Ball on the 36. They're in the eye. Nice play fake. Let's it fly. And that one's fallen incomplete. Nice defensive play that time. The key to this play defensively is the timing of the hit. Watch how he got in there right when the ball arrived and broke it up. That's a good play. The Panthers line up the punt. Galloway back deep to return. He punts it. Calls for the fair catch. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. They'll start at the 19-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Takes off a tackle. Hemphill tackles him for a loss on the play. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Holding on the offense. Ohio State just took their first time out. We've got a second and 11. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the mirror.